spirit of the boxcar children. And starting tonight, fans have the chance to see the Depression-era adventures of the Alton children come to life on stage. Lori Hilliard is the director of the Asheville Community Theater's production of the boxcar children, and she's here this morning. Good morning, Lori. Good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. No problem. No, some, usually, I, I see you out on stage. You're directing this time. What made you decide to take this role with the boxcar children? Why this story? Well, I was really excited to produce and direct this really, I think, important classic children's series. It's a wonderful story about adventure, and it's great for the whole family. And I love having the educational component of drama involved in the theater experience. Let's talk a little bit for folks who might not be familiar with the Boxcar Children. Just kind of set the stage, who are they, and how is the storyline from the book? Um, it's a story about four children who find themselves orphans. And they run away from the authorities to avoid being split up into different foster homes. And so they're on the run through part of the show, and then they set up house in an abandoned boxcar and sort of figure out how to live and find their way there. And then I won't give away the ending, but it has a wonderful, pleasant, family-friendly ending as well. Did you have any challenges bringing something like that, a book to the stage and really, you know, doing justice? Well, the challenges, I think, lie in it being so familiar to a lot of people. They come with expectations, and the play has some differences from the book. Um, for example, in the book, there is a live dog, and we don't have a live dog on stage. In the play, they've already written it to be a stuffed dog, so Benny carries around a stuffed dog. But there are some small differences. It's also a little bit earlier in the play. They said it in the 1930s rather than later 40s. But it really will have that feeling of adventure that I think that most people come to love with the book. And you're going to give us a little taste of that feeling of adventure right now. Uh, in like five seconds, can you set the scene for us? Sure. This is the two older siblings, and they are talking about how the authorities are still looking for them. All right. Missing. Four children. Lasting on. Five hundred dollars? What? Something happened. Stop reading my mind. Well... Start with this flyer. Missing. I'm not surprised, are you? But $500? Then, on my way back from town, I ran into a Hooverville. Two men and a kid. A family like us. No, they had all been torn away from family. But they gave me a nickname. They called me Moxie. Moxie? Because I gave them a lot of lip at first. Henry... There was a boy there, about Benny's age. He didn't talk. Maybe he could talk. As far as they knew, he had no mother or father. Henry, I know you think I'm stingy, so don't tease me. But I gave them a quarter to buy him milk. Good for you. It could have been Benny. I felt a drop. It's here. No, it's just raining. Hey, it's starting to rain. <laughs> I want to tell you, the Boxcar Children premieres tonight at the Asheville Community Theater. Great job. It runs through March 21st. Friday performances are at 7.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, matinee to 2.30. For more details and to get your tickets, go to my40.tv and click on more info. Lawyer, Lori Hilliard, and that was Bryce Lott and Jean Louise Webb. Thank you all for being here this morning. And uh, we can't wait to see the full performance of the Boxcar Children. Thanks so much. Uh -huh.